Welcome to the weekly shoes there, Shimshin. Oh, Hashem, I'm feeling much better. Um, I'm just going to do a short one today because it's Erev Shabbos and uh, we have a lot to do yet. Um, <clears throat> it's Chav Ches Koyach A Menachem Av Tavshin Pei Aleph. And this is, uh, I'm from the English Parshas Re'e. It says it's an inner look at the Sacher Zvulun partnership. Everybody talks about this, but very few people do. Uh, I happen to know my Chavrusa's father did this with a, a man <clears throat> in Eretz Yisrael who was he supported him for many many years till he passed. <clears throat> it says here Aser Taaser as called to us Aracha Yitzei Hasadeh Shana Shana. It's pasuk Yudalid Chav Beis. It uh, says, take my sir on all the produce of your fields every single year. Set aside 10% of your earnings so that you will become wealthy, is the advice of the Gemara and Shabbos in and, uh, and one, 119a. Aser bishvil tis asher. So you show my sir so that you become wealthy, rich. Now, there's all machlekes if this is referring to only meiser tevua crops or also meiser kesef in which you make profits and, and money money profits. <clears throat> well, let's let's put it in, let's in that it's including everything. Okay. <clears throat> Midrash Tanchuma points out that it is worthwhile to give your meiser to Tamid Chachamim, and there's a hint to this in this pasuk. Since the first letters of Aser, Te'aser, Aleph, and Taf are the same as the first letters of the world, A- Amale Taira, <clears throat> Aleph, Taira, Taira, Taf, those who toil in learning, a clue to that one benefit of supporting an indigent Talmidi Chachamim with Meiser money is that it helps make a person wealthy. Yisachar and Zula formed a partnership so that Yisachar could learn full-time and Zulun could support him financially. Why didn't any of the other tribes have such an agreement? If it was so profitable. Although there is a verse that says, Rejoice Zulun, smach Zulun, but say secho. Rejoice Zulun in your travels. And the Gemara in Pesachim da 50b points out that there is no mazel in money that comes from traveling overseas. Why is that? In order to make money through international travel, a businessman has to put himself in danger in the open seas. To succeed in such a dangerous venture demands a tremendous amount of siyata deshmayo. The problem with being the recipient of an ongoing chain of miracles, right, because you're expecting God to save you, is that they cause a person to lose the reward he is meant to receive for the mitzvahs that he does. That is why being an international businessman in, in those times was not the best line of work. <clears throat> this is true when the businessman was only focused on making money for himself. If an Ill, uh, ocean-going businessman donated miser from his profits to worthy Talmidi Chachamim, Torah scholars, though the Talmidi Chachamim receiving the money became his partners. And this changed the entire picture for the businessman. Since the merit of his partner's Torah study served as a powerful protection from the dangers of the sea and the road. When a businessman took on such a partner, even when Hashem performed miracles for him, for one of the partners, neither one of them lost any of their reward from the mitzvahs they had done. That is why Zvulun, it was Zvulun, the businessman who traveled the oceans and rivers, who made the partnership. Since Zvulun will dwell in the coast of the seas, says the Parsec and Breshis, he made sure to bring his spiritually inclined brother, brother Yisachar, into his business as a full partner. In what could the Havdil almost be termed a spiritual insurance policy? The other Shvatim, making their parnasa on the land, did not need such deals and did their business and their own and and their own learning. This is from Zer Shimshin Parshas 
or in our parsha in Re, in the big, in the middle of Ois Gimel. So it's much longer, but I'd shorten it. <clears throat> the Segula for today. The relationship between Sacha and Zvulun was based on both mutual respect and knowledge that each partner needed the other. It would have been a major damper on their partnership that had Zvulun made Sacher feel as if he were doing him a favor. And no doubt, it would have not lasted long. Only when both sides considered each other equally important to the venture will the partnership succeed in long term. Every deal needs to provide wealth and honor for both parties involved if it is to succeed. Consider the following. When I first began writing about Zerashimsha, not many people had heard about it. Consequently, it was not usually available in the average swarm shop. A store must carry the goods that are in demand or it will go out of business. Since every, nobody is asking for, nobody was asking for Zerashimsha, the stores did not stock it. And in many cases, the owners hadn't even heard of the safer and didn't know where they could order it. Eventually, the safer was made available by a number of people who devoted lots of time, energy, and resources to print the Zara Shimshan in a new format that was easy to read and understand. As more and more people began hearing about the safer, the demand grew for it grew. Well, for a while, the number one way to acquire the safer was by contacting Rabbi Yomin Pashkis whose number was on the leaf fly leaf and who sold the safer from his home in Williamsburg. When Rabbi Yaman's phone rang one day, he found himself speaking with a Yid named Reb Sender, who explained that he, he'd come across the safer and heard about the introduction with the Rebbe Zereshimshin promises benefits to those who study the safer. He said that Zeresh, quote, the Zereshimshin will stand by his side. A person who learns the Sefer will sit at his table, surrounded by his children and family. Beautiful blessings, all given wholeheartedly to the person who studies his Sefer. A house filled with everything good. Brachas will begin to, in, his, in this world and, and, amid, and carry on into the world to come. Everyone who reads the introduction needs the Yeshua, finds himself, and needs the Yeshua, finds himself con connecting <clears throat> with whichever aspect speaks to him and their needs. Rabbi Yaman explains, Rip Center focused on the pro promise for Parnassa. And your eyes shall see homes filled with all the good of the world, wealth and honor. Mm, pretty good. Rip Center, you see, was in need of Parnassa and grabbed onto the safer Zerah Shimshon's words as if they were a lifesaver. Rabbi Yamin said, Rabbi, Rabbi Sender, I have taken upon myself to purchase the Sefer, to study it every single day, and I'm hoping that I will be Zechah to Yeshua in the area of Parnassah. Rabbi Sender paid Rabbi Yamin Pashkiz a visit four weeks later. Four weeks. How's everything with you, Rabbi Yamin asked, welcoming him to his house. Bo Hashem, something very interesting happened recently. Rabbi Yaman's motion for him to, to him to continue. For the last year and a half, Rabbi Sender, I've been trying to put together a complicated business deal with a very large company. But no matter how I tried to close the deal, I found myself stymied. I was, it was always something else. One time I was missing a certain document. And another time they told me I needed to uh, add another clause to the contract. A third time, the lawyer went on vacation. There was always some other reason why they needed to postpone the closing. The deal, while benefit, beneficial for the company involved, was more beneficial for me. Their incentive was not great, and consequently, they were dragging their feet. Here comes the good part. A few weeks after I started learning Zera Shimshon, I received a phone call from the managing director of the firm whom I had been chasing for so long. I hadn't been in touch with the man for a few months since I'd virtually given up on the deal, yet suddenly he was calling me. He was calling me. What can I do for you, I asked. I need you to come down to the office as soon as possible, he said. Quite honestly, I couldn't believe what I was hearing. <laughs> what, do you, what did you say, I said, making sure I was not making a mistake? 
I want you to come over to my office today so we can finish the deal and sign the contract. Hmm. Something had changed on their side. Suddenly they were majorly attracted to the deal and wanted nothing more than to close it that very day. I had never seen anything as such as this before. I drove over to the office and we signed the contract that day. They treated me as if I were an honored partner with whom with whom whom they needed and I wanted to and wanted to do business with. And not as though I were someone that was bothering them to get involved in something they weren't really interested in. It wasn't just that I got the deal, which was really great in itself. It was also the fact that they were treating me like as if I were a partner, as if both sides were equal and respected. Rabbi Yaman, he concluded, it was as if the sun had emerged from behind the clouds to shine upon my world. It was exactly as you said when I purchased the Safer, and your eyes will see homes filled with all the good of the world, wealth, and honor. The Zerashimshan's bracha was fulfilled in its entirety since not only it is the deal it is the deal extremely lucrative for me, but it was also carried out with honor and respect, and in my eyes that was as just as important. May everybody be blessed with the with the bracha of the Zerashimshan and have Panasa Berevach and may your, all your other Tzoros and your, and your Yeshua's people that need, I'm going to say a special um, blessing for Shana Bas Khana. She was in very de, de, in the serious need of a Refua Shalema. And also Yehuda Menachem Ben Chaya and, um, and all the other young people that need Yeshua's in the area of, par, of not only the Parnasa but Shaduchim. Maybe, maybe they all be zeicher to the blessings of the, the Zera Shimshon. Have a great Shabbos and a good Chaydish and made um, also this is Chaydish Elo. The Arizal says this is a very a special time for Yeshua's and Parnasa Berevach. Okay, so everybody can say they're to heal him and pray especially hard for people that are in need of a shidduch. Kol tov, zayge bench.